Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, what you're looking at, of course, is the weak spot in O-gauge track, and that is where the sections join. And the problem with this is, of course, no matter how many times you try to tighten this, six weeks from now it's going to be loose again. So when you first set this track up, these joints are just absolutely rigid. You have to force them together. Then after six weeks of constant pounding by the wheels and the vibration, not to mention the electrolysis that's going on here, the track begins to get loose. And as you lose a good connection, it affects the performance of your train. So there's only a couple of ways to correct this. One, of course, is if you're going to be permanently mounting it, you simply push them together under tension and put a couple of screws in it and screw it to the, uh, the table or the base or the floor for that matter. And that prevents them from moving. In most conventional layouts where the track is just laying either on a table or on the floor, an easy way to, to prevent these from coming apart is to use wire ties. So what I do is take a, a couple of wire ties, slide one into the other, like that, slide it underneath the ties, pull it up on the other side. Grab it with a pair of pliers. Pull that side tight. Pull that side tight. Cut it off with a pair of clippers or scissors. And that track will never come apart again. It works absolutely perfectly. And it prevents the track from moving. It is now rigidly locked together. If you have a green background, you can use green wire ties. Have a black ground, a black background, use black, white, yellow, orange. They have almost every color you could think of. But you can see how simple this is. It works and it doesn't cost anything. And that track is just absolutely rigidly connected now and cannot move. So once you get these things tight, you put that wire tie on there, this track is never going to separate again. This works really, really well. It's really quick. It's really effective, and you'll see a dramatic improvement in how your trains run if you do this on every section. Clean them first. Clean the pins, tighten the holes, if you have a pair of uh, O-gauge track pliers. And then just uh, plug them back together, put the wire tie on them, pull them tight, and that track will never move again. So I just wanted to do a quick video. It's really, really simple. And uh, the nice thing about it, of course, is it's virtually free, and it works. It's really, really effective. And if you do this to the sections of your track, you will see an instant improvement, overall improvement, in every train you run on that track. So I just want to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.